हे फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑल अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द फ्लिप फ्लॉप कन्वर्जन नाउ इन द अर्लियर वीडियोज ऑफ द सिक्वेंजर सर्किट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स लाइक द एस आर फ्लिप फ्लॉप डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप जे के फ्लिप फ्लॉप एज वेल एज द टी फ्लिप फ्लॉप सो इट इज गुड टू हैव अ नॉलेज अबाउट द फ्लिप फ्लॉप कन्वर्जन लेट से यू हैव डिजाइन सम सर्किट विद द हेल्प ऑफ द एस आर फ्लिप फ्लॉप now during the implementation you found that you do not have the sr flip flop and instead of the sr flip flop you only have jk flip flop so if you have a knowledge about the sr to jk flip flop conversion then there is a no need to design the entire circuit once again and just using the few logic gates the same flip flop can be converted into the another flip flop so let us understand the basic idea about the flip flop conversion so let's say we have a one flip flop and we want to convert it into the another flip flop so for this conversion we require this combinational circuit so typically this combinational circuit consists of few logic gates so as you can see in this block diagram the output of the existing flip flop is given to this combinational circuit and the inputs of the required flip flop will be also given to this combinational circuit for example let's say we have a sr flip flop and we want to convert it into the jk flip flop that means here our required flip flop is equal to jk flip flop so as you can see here this j and k inputs as well as the output of the sr flip flops are given to this combinational circuit and as you can see the output of this combinational circuit is given as an input to this sr flip flop so if this combinational circuit is designed properly then the output of this sr flip flop will now behave as the output of the jk flip flop or in other words now this circuit will work as the jk flip flop so in this way we can convert the one type of flip flop into the another flip flop now in this flip flop conversion we may not always require to connect the output of the flip flop back to this combinational circuit but in general this is the basic block diagram of the flip flop conversion so since we have a four types of flip flops so we have a total 12 different possible flip flop conversions and in this video we will see that how to convert the sr flip flop into the jk flip flop d flip flop and the t flip flop all right so now let us start with the sr to jk flip flop conversion and let's see how we can convert the sr flip flop into the jk flip flop so since our required flip flop is the jk flip flop so we should be aware about the behavior of the jk flip flop or in other words we should know the truth table of the jk flip flop so first of all let us write down the truth table of this jk flip flop so for the jk flip flop we know that when both inputs are zero then the next state is same as the present state similarly when this j is zero and k is 1 then the flip flop will get reset to zero likewise when this j is 1 and k is zero then in the next state the output of the flip flop will become 1 and as you know when both inputs of the jk flip flop are 1 then the output of the flip flop will toggle that means in the present state if output is equal to 0 then in the next state it will become 1 or currently if the output of the flip flop is 1 then in the next state it will become 0 so that is the truth table of the jk flip flop now to get this output transition let us see what inputs we should apply to this sr flip flop so basically we should be aware about the excitation table of this sr flip flop so this is the excitation table of this sr flip flop so as you can see in the first case both qn and the qn plus 1 are zero so we know that when both s and r inputs are zero then the sr flip flop will retain its current state that means presently if this qn is zero then in the next state also this qn plus 1 will remain zero similarly if this s is zero and r is 1 then also this qn plus 1 will become zero so in general we can say that to get this transition this s should be equal to zero while the r should be either zero or 1 so in general we can say that this s input should be equal to zero while the r input is equal to x where this x represents that this input can be either zero or 1 similarly in the next possible transition this qn is 0 while the qn plus 1 is equal to 1 so for this transition this s should be equal to 
while the r should be equal to 0. Because as you know, when this s is 1 and r is 0, then the output of the SR flip flop will get set to 1. Likewise, in the next possible transition, this qn is 1 and the qn plus 1 is equal to 0. So for this transition to occur, the s should be equal to 0 while the r should be equal to 1. And similarly, in the last possible transition, both qn and the qn plus 1 are 1. So as you know, when both s and r are 0, then the SR flip flop will retain its current state. That means presently, if this qn is 1, then in the next state also it will remain 1. Secondly, if this s is 1 and r is 0, in that case also, this qn plus 1 will become 1. That means for this last transition to occur, the s can be either 0 or 1 and the r should be equal to 0. Or in general we can say that this s should be equal to x while the r should be equal to 0. So this is the excitation table of the SR flip-flop and using this excitation table we can compute our earlier table. So as you can see from this excitation table when both qn and the qn plus 1 are 0 then this s should be equal to 0 while the r should be equal to x. Similarly for this 1 1 this s should be equal to x while the r should be equal to 0. Similarly once again for this 0 0 this s should be equal to 0 while the r should be equal to x. Likewise, for this 1 0 transition, this s should be equal to 0 while the r should be equal to 1. Similarly, for this 0 1, this s is 1 and r is 0. Similarly, for this 1 to 1 transition, this s should be equal to x while the r should be equal to 0. And likewise, we can complete the entire table. So in this way, with the help of this excitation table of the SR flip-flop, we can find the required S and R inputs to get all these transitions. So in this way, during the flip-flop conversion, first of all write the truth table of the required flip-flop and then using the excitation table of the existing flip-flop, write the required inputs of the existing flip-flop to get the particular transitions. So now, let us find the relation of the inputs S and R in terms of the G, K and the QN. Because as you can see, the input to the required flip-flop is the combination of the J, K and the Q, N. So once we know this relation, then we can easily design this combinational circuit. So first of all, let us find the expression of the S in terms of the J, K and the Q, N. So as you can see, this S is equal to 1 for the two different mean terms, that is mean term M4 and the M6, while the M1 and the M5 are the don't care terms. So first of all, let us write down all the min terms in the k map and let us try to simplify the overall expression. So as you can see in the k map, here we can group the min term m4 and the m6. And by making this group, we are able to cover all the min terms in the k map. So now if you see, then this group corresponds to j dot qn bar. Because in this group, the variable j is not changing and its value is equal to 1. Similarly, this qn variable is also not changing and its value is equal to 0. That means this group represents j dot qn bar. And therefore, the expression of the s is equal to j dot qn bar. Similarly, let us find the expression of the input r in terms of the j, k and the qn. So as you can see, this r input is 1 for the two different min terms, that is min term m3 and the m7. And once again, here there are two mean terms, that is m0 and the m2. So first of all, let us write down all these four mean terms in the k map and let us try to simplify the expression of the r. So as you can see over here, we can make the group of this mean term m3 and the m7. And this group corresponds to k dot qn. Because in this group, both variable k and qn are not changing. And as you can see, their value is equal to 1. Therefore, the expression of the R is equal to k dot qn. So in this way, this S is equal to j dot qn bar while the R is equal to k dot qn. So to implement this expression, we require two AND gates. And as you can see, with the help of the two AND gates, we can convert this SR flip-flop into the JK flip-flop. So here, this input to the S is equal to j dot qn bar while this input to the R is equal to k dot qn. 
So in this way, we can convert the SR flip-flop into the JK flip-flop. And in fact, during our discussion of the JK flip-flop, using the same technique, we have converted the SR flip-flop into the JK flip-flop. So in this way, using this conversion technique, we can convert the one flip-flop into the another flip-flop. So similarly, now let us see the SR to D flip-flop conversion. So here, this D flip-flop is our required flip-flop. So first of all, let us write down the truth table of the D flip-flop. So as you know, for the D flip-flop, the output QN plus 1 is same as the D input. That means whenever this D is 0, then the QN plus 1 is also equal to 0. And whenever this D is equal to 1, then this QN plus 1 is also equal to 1. So that is the truth table of the D flip-flop. So now, to get this QN to QN plus 1 transitions, let us find the required S and R inputs. And for that, once again, let us use the excitation table of the SR flip-flop. So as you can see from the excitation table, for this 0, 0, the S should be equal to 0, while the R should be equal to X. Likewise, for this 1, 0 transition, this S is 0 and R is 1. Similarly, for this 0, 1 transition, this S is 1 and R is equal to 0. And likewise, in the last case, for this 1 to 1 transition, this S is equal to X while the R is equal to 0. So in this way, we found the required excitations of the inputs S and R. So here, since the SR flip-flop is our actual flip-flop, so let us find the expression of the inputs S and R in terms of the D and QN. And first, let us find the expression of the S. So as you can see over here, this S input is 1 for the mean term M2 while the mean term M3 is the don't care term. So first of all, let us write down all these two mean terms in the K map and let us try to simplify the expression. So as you can see over here, with the help of the don't care term, we can make the group of mean term M2 and the M3. And this group corresponds to D. That means here, this S is equal to D. Similarly, now let us find the relation of the input R in terms of the D and QN. So as you can see, this R is equal to 1 for the mean term M1, while the mean term M0 is the don't care term. So first of all, let us write down all these two mean terms in the K map. So as you can see in the K map, with the help of the don't care term, here we are able to make the group of two mean terms. And this group corresponds to D bar. That means here, this R is equal to D bar. So in this way, this S is equal to D and the R is equal to D bar. And to implement that, we just require one more NOT gate. That means using one NOT gate, we can convert this SR flip-flop into the D flip-flop. So similarly, now let us see the SR to T flip-flop conversion. So here, this T flip-flop is our required flip-flop. So first of all, let us write down the truth table of this T flip-flop. So as you know, for the T flip-flop, when its input is equal to zero, then it will retain its present state. That means with t is equal to 0, currently if this qn is 0, then in the next state also it will remain in the same state. And likewise, currently if the qn is 1, then in the next state also it will remain 1. That means whenever this t input is equal to 0, then the flip-top will retain its current state. And whenever this t is equal to 1, then the output of the flip-top will toggle. That means presently, if this qn is 0, then in the next state it will become 1. And likewise, if qn is 1, then in the next state it will become 0. So that is the truth table of this T flip-flop. So now, to get these transitions, let us find the required S and R inputs. So to complete this table, once again, let us take the help of the excitation table of the SR flip-flop. So as you can see from the excitation table, for this 0, 0 transition, this S should be equal to 0 while the R should be equal to X. Similarly, for this 1 1 transition, this S is equal to X while the R is equal to 0. Likewise, for this 0 to 1 transition, this S is equal to 1 while the R is equal to 0. And likewise, in the last case, for this 1 to 0 transition, this S is 0 and R is 1. So in this way, we got our required inputs S and R to get the particular transitions. So now, let us find the expression of the inputs S and R in terms of the T and Q N. 
and first let us find the expression of the as so as you can see this as input is equal to 1 for the mean term m2 while the mean term m1 is the don't care term so first of all let us write down all these two mean terms in the k map and let us see whether we can further simplify it or not so if you see over here then we cannot group these two mean terms so here this mean term m2 corresponds to t dot qn bar so we can say that the expression of the s is equal to t dot qn bar similarly let us find the expression of the r so as you can see over here this r is equal to 1 for the mean term m3 while the mean term m0 is the don't care term so once again let us write down these two mean terms in the k map so once again here we cannot group these two mean terms so here this mean term m3 corresponds to t dot qn that means here the expression of the input r is also equal to t dot qn that means for this sr to t flip flop conversion this s is equal to t dot qn bar while the r is equal to t dot qn and it can be implemented with the help of the two end gates so in this way we can convert the one type of flip flop into the another flip flop so similarly in the next video we will see that how to convert the jk flip flop into the sr d and the t flip flops but i hope in this video you understood the basic technique for the flip flop conversion and you also learned about how to convert the sr flip flop into the jk d as well as the t flip flops so if you have any questions or suggestions then do let me know here in the comment section below if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more such videos 